Hey guys, for this week's video, I decided to film what I eat in a week and let's just get started! Honestly, I lost track of time, so I'm just gonna pretend this is Monday. For breakfast, I had avocado toast with egg and ham. And then for lunch, I'm having leftover curry that I made the previous day. Uh, yeah, I just got too lazy and I had it with some Korean radish, yellow radish, and kimchi. I added tomatoes into the curry, which made it really yummy. And also, I fucking love tomatoes. Oh my god. And then for a snack after, I just had these white chocolate biscuits. They're so good. Um, yeah, I snack a lot. I'm about to snack again in like two seconds. For my post-workout snack, I just have some berries and some shrimp chips. And I'm just gonna watch Hitomi when I eat. For dinner, this is my attempt at trying to be healthy. So I made Vietnamese summer rolls. Uh, it was kind of hard. This was my first time making it. I added in shrimp, tomatoes, avocado, cucumbers, and cilantro, and a dash of lime. They didn't turn out that pretty, but it was still really good, and I paired it up with some peanut sauce, sriracha, and a bit more lime juice. I just like anything that's sour, honestly. I also ate the leftover stuff and had it with some Chinese AD yogurt milk drink thing. It was really good. Yeah, I felt pretty healthy eating this. And then after dinner, I had some green tea. <laughs> wow, the lighting here is so good. When I woke up the next day, I really wanted to make the Talgona coffee drink. I invested in an electric whisk a few days ago, so I was super excited to use it. But oh my god, this was like my first time drinking coffee in like two years. So two tablespoons of caffeine made me so freaking hyper and shaky after for like four hours. The amount of sugar in it also probably made me really hyper. But yeah, she turned out really thick and beautiful, so I had it with some oat milk and some heavy cream. Look at how pretty she is! It was really good, despite me um, being really shaky for a long ass time after. For my actual breakfast, I toasted a piece of sourdough bread, and then I had it with avocado, sriracha, and an egg. I've been sleeping at like 11 to 12 every day and waking up from 6 to 7 a.m. and I don't know how I feel about that. And then this is me throwing away my midnight ramen container. For lunch, I made stir-fried noodles using onions, bell peppers, jalapeno, and my leftover shrimp. I used these Japanese green tea noodles, which are so yummy. And then I just stir-fried everything together. I think I added ponju sauce. Honestly, I don't remember. This is a really fast dish. It only takes about like 15 minutes at most. I tried to dish it out really pretty, and then I added some cilantro to garnish and a dash of lime juice. <laughs> she looks kind of cute, not gonna lie. And then I just ate it while watching Sophia Chang's new vlog. Have you guys noticed that not only do I use my chopsticks wrong, I also use it with my left hand? After I ate all that, I also again had the Japanese biscuits as a snack. This is me working out. I've been working out pretty much every day, and I alternate between Alexis Ren, Chloe Ting, and Emmy Wan's videos. I work out for about 40 minutes every day. And then as a post-workout snack, I just had some frozen grapes. For dinner, I made summer rolls again, but this time for protein, I used frozen tofu. I love the texture. Uh, they turned out even uglier this time around, but it still tasted good. And then for dessert, I had shrimp chips and blackberries. Alright, it's morning again. Let's just pretend this is Wednesday. For breakfast, I had matcha pancakes. I'm not gonna share the recipe with you guys because they turned out kind of salty, even though I followed everything on the recipe, so I'm not sure why that happened. Because aren't pancakes supposed to be sweet? I also realized that I'm not a big fan of pancakes. I really don't care much for them. I honestly prefer crepes over pancakes, but it's okay. It was a fun experience. I also added in dark chocolate chips, which made me really happy. If you guys haven't noticed by now, this is the only crusty pot that I use to cook because it's the only nonstick cooking thing that we have in the kitchen. And then I topped it off with honey, powdered sugar, and strawberries. It turned out really pretty, kind of salty, tasted okay. I give it like a, 
like a 6 out of 10. I still finished everything in the end because I just didn't want to waste food. Okay, so for lunch, I made tomato and egg. This is really easy to make. It's my favorite dish to make just because it's so fast. I also add in onions and cilantro because it makes it taste better, but that's optional. On the side, I also heated up some spicy Chinese pork sausages. After I added in the onions, I also added in the egg, and I added in pre-crushed tomatoes because I like mine to be saucy. And then the cilantro, I scrambled it a bit, and now it's done. I also added in salt and sugar to taste. I also sliced up half an avocado. They weren't that ripe, so they were kind of hard, but it's fine. Made some fresh cooked rice, and I always make two servings and then save one for another day. And now I'm just assembling everything together, placing the tomato and egg, sausages, and avocado on top of the rice. I also added in some yellow radish and kimchi. She looks so pretty and she tasted good too. Okay, that sounds kind of wrong. After lunch, I decided to make some matcha mochi muffins. I love matcha, but basically you just need one cup of mochiko, one fourth cup of brown sugar, one fourth teaspoon baking powder, two teaspoons matcha powder, one egg, one half cup of milk. I used lactate and then one fourth cup of oil. Oh my God, I am out of breath from saying that. And then you just mix everything up until it has like a smooth ribbon-like texture. This took a bit because I was too lazy to take out the electric whisk. And then I just coated up a muffin tin with baking spray and filled each cup about three-fourths full with the batter. I topped them off with some dark chocolate chips and then I shaked it a bit to smooth out the surface. And then I placed it into the oven at 400 degrees for about 25 minutes. They came out so good. I had with some strawberries and the texture was so chewy on the inside and so like crisp on the outside. It was just so good. I also snacked on some shrimp chips after. <laughs> For dinner, I just cooked up some frozen dumplings that I made a few weeks back and I also had stir fried veggies on the side. For the veggies, I stir fried up some bell peppers, onion, zucchini, and crushed tomatoes together with some salt and sugar to taste. For dinner, I'm usually pretty lazy, so I just cook up something really simple. But I had the dumplings with ponzu sauce, and I'm really proud of the dumplings I made because they taste like my mom and grandpa's, so that makes me really happy. For breakfast the next day, I had green tea, raspberries, homemade mantou, one sausage, and a fried egg. And then after, I made the Talgona coffee again, this time with less instant coffee and sugar, so I wasn't that hyper after. For lunch, I made hong xiao yao, which is Chinese braised pork belly. I tried my best, but it didn't taste as good as my mom's. Hmm. I think I did something wrong, so I'm not going to share the recipe until I figure out the right way to make it. I have a few pieces of that with rice and some cooked zucchini with Chinese black vinegar. Overall, a pretty good lunch. For dinner, again, I made summer rolls, this time with a fried flat egg omelette. Think they turned out better looking this time? Yeah. yeah, this is my... What is this? Kimchi... Kimchi... Rice. rice seaweed. Okay, Eddie and Jasmine is gonna interrupt this video really quickly just to say something. So I am editing right now and I just want to say that when I filmed this video, it was during the week before my period and that's when like my food cravings are like insane. I eat so much before my period comes. And I also want to say that while I do look like I have my life put together in this video, I really don't. Sometimes I fall into really bad unhealthy eating habits, like having a healthy relationship with food. I'll binge eat or I'll just not eat in general, which is something that I've still yet to come to figure out. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard, it really just depends. Some days I feel really good about myself, some days I feel really shitty about myself. It's just... But yeah, I just wanted to put that out there so that no one has like a false perception of everything. And let's just continue on with the video. I didn't have breakfast the next day because I was pretty full. So for lunch, I just had curry again with kimchi, Korean radish, and some cheese. For dinner, I was still pretty full from the curry, but I was trying to get my eating back on track. So I just had some fruit and a boiled egg with ponju sauce. Okay, but look at how lit that egg looks. 
On Saturday for breakfast, I just had a cup of Talgona coffee. Keeps me awake throughout the day, which is pretty good. For lunch, I made some minced pork with soy sauce and sugar, and then I stir fried in some cucumbers and tomatoes. I don't know what's with me, I just really like tomatoes. I just topped that off on rice, and then I watched a YouTube video while eating it. A very nice, yummy lunch. As a post-workout snack, I just had some strawberry yogurt. I also boiled three eggs so I could eat the two for the next two days. One of them broke, which made me really sad. Anyways, for dinner, I just made stir-fried veggies again. I used garlic, onion, bell peppers, green beans, and corn. I feel like the more I cook, the more lazy I get from cooking, and also the more tired of my own food that I get. Oh, and I also added in some crushed tomatoes after. I topped it off with a boiled egg, and the colors here look so pretty. It tasted okay. It felt very healthy. After dinner, I snacked on some chocolate-covered acai and blueberries, and I also discovered my love for frozen mangoes. They're just so good! Anyways, I snacked on some fruit while I did some printmaking homework, which you will see in the vlog next week! On Sunday for breakfast, I had frozen mango again. They're so good, I'm addicted. For lunch, I had talcona coffee with toast, and I also made stir-fried shrimp with egg, bell peppers, onion, lime? Broccoli? Parsley? Okay, I thought it was cilantro, so I was scammed because I hate parsley. And also some Korean fish cake on the side. It was really yummy. I munched on that, and then after, I munched on some shrimp chips. I really like them. They are pretty light and definitely not healthy. I'm gonna work out now, and I'm gonna do the Alexis Ren 10-minute ab workout first, and then I'm gonna do this 45-minute Full Body Workout by Emmy Wong I think alternating between exercises and not doing the same thing every day helps a lot more And I also don't get bored from the same thing every day In case you guys did not notice, I got more and more lazy throughout the week So for dinner, I just cooked up some more dumplings and had it with fruit on the side But like, dumplings are good, so whatever And that is what I ate in the past week um, I'm not that healthy. I snack a lot. Honestly, it's just so hard. Like, I'm trying to be healthier. It's really not working, but it's okay. Anyways, I hope that you guys found it to be inspiring a little bit, hopefully, and that you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Boop. Oh, fail. Wow, my earrings are very loud.